Do you utilize ClickUp and want to integrate it with JotForm workflows? Well, let me show you how. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you utilize ClickUp and JotForm workflows, you can now integrate the two together. So in the top left-hand corner, we're currently in my forms. I'm gonna jump over into my workflows. Then we're gonna create a new workflow. And for this example, I'm gonna do a one-step approval process. Now up at the top, we do see we have a starting point, And of course it's going to be a form. I'm gonna go ahead and complete these settings. Now from here, we can choose a form that we have already created, but if we don't see what we need or we wanna create one from scratch, we can do that. Up at the top, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one. I'm gonna start from scratch on the classic form. And on the left-hand side, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some elements. We'll do full name, email, and phone number. Maybe we'll just do signature just in case. And our form is good to go. So I'm gonna head back over to our workflow builder. So we can see once someone fills out this form, it's gonna come down to me as the approver. And then we have two options. We can either approve or deny. So let's go ahead and add in ClickUp. I'm gonna delete this link right here. Left-hand side, we're gonna choose our integrations and we can choose ClickUp right here. So we can either create a task, a subtask or a comment. Depending on what you wanna do, you can choose from there. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new task. We can bring that in and then we can add our links back in as well. So let's go ahead and complete our settings and get our ClickUp account authorized. All right, first we need to select a workspace. I only have one, so it's gonna automatically give me that one workspace. Next, we need to choose a space. I'm gonna choose our IT team and then we can select a folder. I'm gonna go ahead and do no folder and then we can choose a list will be my project. So for the name of this, I want this to be the form title. And then we can also add in some different ones as well. Maybe the description can be the submission ID. And then we can also, if you are collecting uploads within your form, you can choose to have them go to ClickUp as well. We can go ahead and save this. Perfect. All right, let's go up to publish and we'll open in a new tab and give this a test. And we'll do our signature. Perfect. We can submit. Now, as the approver, I'm going to receive an email to let me know that I need to come into JotForm and either approve or deny. But since I'm already in JotForm, I can come over here and click on where it says Workflow Builder and jump over into my inbox. And we see we have John Smith right here in progress. We have action required. I can review all of his information in his form and we can either approve or deny. Let's go ahead and approve. And because we are integrated with ClickUp, we're going to see that we have integrations running right here. Now, what is so great about this is I don't have to log into ClickUp or go over to ClickUp and try to find this information. JotForm makes it really easy for me to click here and it's gonna take me straight to this over in ClickUp. And here we go. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to integrate ClickUp with JotForm workflows, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.